you want to see me? Your uh, message sounded urgent. The cops like me for Claudia's murder. It's time we shut down this investigation. Or on our plan to blame Claudia's death on Franco. Cops are already after him for Lulu and Sam's kidnapping. He blew up the building where Claudia's body was found, right? It's not that much of a stretch to from that to murder rap. You got the story straight? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we should go over one more time, just to be sure. After running down Ronnie with his car, Franco paid a visit to his hospital room and admitted that he killed Claudia. Why would he confess to Ronnie? Okay, let's be more subtle than that. Okay, let's say he did, Franco just referenced Claudia's death, and he said something about, this was only the beginning. If I can take out Sonny's wife, I can take out anybody, anytime. And why would Ronnie wait so long before he came forward? Because he messed with Ronnie's head. Ronnie was afraid that if he said something, Frank would come back and kill him. It's a little hard to believe. I mean, a wise guy is scared easy. Well, that's why he didn't come forward right away, because he was trying to protect his reputation. Uh, that all fits. I'll make sure Ronnie does his part. Good. So, uh, anything else? Yeah. One more thing. Remember when we first met you, you, you wanted a chance to prove yourself that you could be an asset to my organization? You've done that, and more. That you wanted to succeed me someday. And I said to myself, oh yeah, I've, I've seen that kind come and go. <laughs> what kind is that? All talk, no walk. Young guys who, who blow themselves with so much hot air that you don't even want to be in the same room with them. Well, I'm glad I made a good first impression. And then when the time comes, to step up, they suddenly get real quiet. Well, put up or shut up, right? Yeah, you put up, but you never shut up. That was just, just a joke. Uh, but I have to admit, you have, you know, you're, you're starting to listen a lot better, and I can see that when I'm talking that you're writing things in your head so you can use it later. I uh, want to learn from the best. I've seen so many young, cocky guys come in here, they want to be boss the first day but they think some jobs are beneath them. There is no follow through, no sense of commitment, pride, respect. You got all that. I appreciate you seeing that. And you're not just smart, right, and ambitious. You, you know what it takes to work hard, and I respect that. Now look, it's not, it's not like this time is, is gonna come soon, but, I, but one day I will step down and I'm, I'm gonna need somebody to take over the organization. And I'm considering you. The position I hold comes with a cost. You seem like you have some regrets. Uh, if I could go back and do things differently, maybe I would've Gotten together with some nice girl from the old neighborhood. And... Anyway, listen, um, you and Lulu, right? You guys haven't been together long. She's one in a million. Maybe you're too smart for this. Maybe you want something different. Why are you talking about? You have everything. Yeah, it seems like I have everything, but you know what? I can't keep my family safe. I can, you know, put up as many walls as I, as I want, hire as many guards as I want, but they're, they're always a target somehow. And I, you know, maybe you don't want this anyway, so I'm just saying think about it, that's all. Well, what about Jason? I love Jason. He's a, my best friend, he's like a brother to me, but he doesn't want to run the business. He's already made it clear that if I ever walk away, he wants to walk away with me if we're both still standing. Well, there's gotta be someone who's been in your organization longer than you me. You got in front of a car to protect my son, save his life. You almost took a bullet from me. That takes guts. You can't teach that. It's not like everybody else in this business. You know, you got a bunch of animals, like Joey Limbo and the Zakars. You know, they, they, they have no sense of decency. They don't care who they hurt. I don't, know, I don't know. What about uh, Johnny? 
Give, give Johnny everything that I had? Let me think about it. No. I mean, he wouldn't want it anyway. You know, his sister, you know, put my family through hell. Why am I going to pass it down to him? Michael expects to follow in your footsteps. All this is about making a better life for my children. Giving them choices that I didn't get. I don't care what Michael wants. Why are you talking about me with Dominic? Uh, I'll show myself out. You're supposed to be with your mother. What was all that about? Business. It's OK. I heard my name. OK, I just, there's a chance that Dominic's going to take over the organization one day. Because I never want you to. It's not like I'm retiring anytime soon. I, I, it's good to have a plan in place. Did I have no place in? I'm sorry, Michael, but that's just the way it has to be. How much do you know about Dominic? Can't you see that he spends all of his time kissing your I know you're upset, but don't forget who you're talking to. Look, it is not fair that Dominic gets everything that's mine and takes my place. Your place was never in the business. I am old enough to make my own decisions. It's a family business. I should be the one to take over. You're going to go to college. You're going to start your own business, a legitimate one. Whatever you want to do, you can do. You, you, I didn't have any options. You, your brother, and your sister do. Why don't you trust me? Why can't you see that I can do what you do? I don't want you to do what I do. I want you to do better, son. You're always talking about family. But you trust Dominic, some stranger off the street, more than you do your own son. Is that what I think it is? Don't think I can't what make my house going on. Dominic thinks he can come in here and take my place, but he's not going to take what's mine. I'm going to get rid of you if it's the last thing I ever do.